the Facebook ad campaign structure for 2024. That has allowed us to do over, what, $1.8 million in a month for a men's clothing brand. That's allowed us to do a little over $1.1 million in a month for a Walmart brand and about $6 million between November and December of 2022. And lastly, about $395,000 in a month for a subscription supplement brand. And I'm gonna be going over exactly what we did during that process of how to set it up and everything like that. First, I wanna cover the old way, kind of like what typically people, a lot of people are doing. You know, this is an old campaign from one of my old accounts back in like 2020. Like you literally can see right here, we have audience testing, skill test, gifts for him, different angles, creative testing campaign, tofu, you know, spring sell, like just all kinds of different campaigns. We would have a couple live at a time. And this was very time intensive. And I'm very against anything that takes a lot of time at Facebook. Facebook itself should be very simple in terms of the amount of time you spend actually management of the campaigns. Overall though, like the most time is spent in the creative production. And that's where a lot of like your time should be going. And when you have a lot of campaigns, you're also causing a lot of auction overlap, which is decreasing the performance potential of your account. Now, the new way is we simply just do one CBO campaign per business objective. You can see right here, this is just one of our accounts right here. Last seven days spent 15 grand with one CBO at $2,200 daily. Here's another account for Legion, just to showcase it works for multiple different niches. Last seven days as well, $27,000 spent. Now this one also has a couple different, like I would say like countries in a way. So uh, there's also like our states because we can't advertise in some of these states in this main campaign. So that's why there's other campaigns. And then here's another account that we do about a million something dollars a month with. And you can see right here, we have one country per campaign. Now, the reason why we can have multiple campaigns is because again, we're targeting each a different country. So there's no auction overlap. And also too, they each following the fundamentals that I'm gonna show you next. So how do you build this? How do you launch this? How do you deploy it? All those good things. So first off, the ad account structure is just CBO. I do uh, a manual sales campaign. I don't do Advantage Plus because Advantage Plus just leans a little bit more on the retargeting side and that's not what I want. So I do regular. The regular campaign still does some level of retargeting, just not nearly as much as like Advantage Plus. And then I also want to select that button for Advantage campaign budget to where it's a CBO technically, where the budget is uh, managed at the campaign level. Now, anytime you wanna test new creatives, you want to create a new ad set. So I do broad targeting for everything. So I never change the audience, it's always broad targeting and I let my creatives do the targeting for me. And what I'll do is I'll create that new data set. I'll, t I'll turn on dynamic creative. And again, I don't do any targeting. So here you go. This one right here shows three countries. This is an old screenshot I have, but we would do one country right here. Gender, we'll target the gender that we want. So like if we have own a clothing brand that's specifically for men, then I'll do a male targeting. If it's for female, I'll do female. If it's unisex, they both can have it. Then I'll do female plus male. Age is probably the only one, just leave 18 plus. And then I'll just put one country right here. Like I said, it's just an old screenshot I grabbed. But I ideally go with one country right here. Now, next thing you wanna do is uh, we do three creatives in that dynamic ad set. Three creatives, all video, or all photo. It doesn't, no, like never do the same in one. So like two photos in a video, we'll never do that. So your three videos are three photos. That whole campaign though can have a variety of different ad sets all with different videos and different photos. It's just that one ad set itself. So like if I go launch another ad set for a test in this particular campaign, I'll do like three photos or like three, another three videos. It just depends. Then I'll do a new body copy, an existing winning body copy, an existing winning headline, and like a new headline inside of there. And what I'll do is I'll test two to three new DCTs a week. So every week I'll be launching two to three new DCTs. A DCT is a dynamic creative testing ad set. And you just watch me create an ad set, turn on dynamic creative. And I'll, every time I want to launch new ads, I launch a whole new ad set. I never edit that ad set. And I just let it roll if it wins. And what we'll do is you can see right here, we launch some, turn them off, launch some, turn them off until we find our winning one. And the winning one's going to take up majority of spin in there. You can see right here, there's 123, immediately shot up and took all the spin of this campaign when we launched it. And what we'll do is because we only have one campaign in the account, or maybe two or three, if you have different countries, we can see an immediate improvement overall for the business. And you can see right here, this account shot up in terms of revenue 47 percent profit 155 percent when that particular dct took majority of spin and what this allows us to do is to start increasing spin profitably for the business and again just showing you other examples here and 
yeah. So, and if you want to know more about how we actually increase spend, then watch this video, how to scale Facebook ads in 2024. I literally go step by step of how we increase spend inside of the ad accounts. Now I'm going to be going over some common questions I get about these structure or this structure. So what if I have multiple products? That's a great question. So first off, I would only focus on that on the one that does 70% of revenue for the business. You know, just to give you an example right here, this is a supplement brand right here that's variety of different supplements, but we're only pushing traffic to the main supplement that drives the most revenue for the business. Why? Because all the other supplements are simply just upsells. Hey, we also think you would like this product or hey, bundle these products together or hey, you know, come back to the site and, and try this new product right here. So we use one product to get people in the door and all the other products are things to like, you know, other things they can purchase. I also like to position it like this. Imagine if you're going through like a shopping mall and you're walking through the mall and like you see like a product in the glass. And when you see that product in the glass, you immediately go into that particular store, for example. And 90% of the time you'll leave with a completely different product that you'd even come in for. So that's the example here. So we'll lead with the best pulling product that makes the most revenue and gets most people in the door, but they might come in for that product and purchase something completely different. Now, next thing is we'll put the top three to six best sellers in each. So like, for example, it's a clothing brand right here. So this is not a supplement, it's a clothing brand. And what we did is we put the top three to six best sellers in each campaign that was driving the most revenue. So I think it was actually like three for here. So this is each country as mentioned multiple times now. So each country gets their own dedicated campaign and each one pushes maybe the one to three best sellers in each. Now this account spends like 20 to $30,000 a day. You might only have one best seller and that's perfectly fine. Only focusing on one product, focusing on more products. It causes a decrease in efficiency in your business because now your attention is spread thin. Next one is I run a unisex brand. Cool. Have Mel plus female targeting in one ad set and just launch products on one ad set. That's it. Like that one campaign. That's nothing different. I have a male and female line. So simply all you would do right here is you'll have one campaign for men, one campaign for female, and that's per country. I want to expand countries. Great question. So again, I like to do one new campaign each and you have to create new Shopify store in native language and native currency then copy over the best performing ads translated. This is huge. You know, the old way of expanding to countries is just toss small an ad set and run ads to it. The problem with this is that, you know, if you launch English ads in a US dollar into a random country, like, I don't know, for example, like let's say uh, Belgium, for example, like you're only gonna reach like 10% of people because it's only those 10% of people speak English, for example. Whereas if you launch it in Dutch, and then you also have like a Dutch website and you also have Euro as the currency, you're gonna reach 90% of people and you'll reach substantially more people. So you need to translate the ads and you also need to translate the website and currency and have all that. A lot of people will try to install those shitty little apps that translates the website. I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of those because half of them don't work nearly as good. They take too long and just, I don't know, we always see a much better conversion rate by having a dedicated Shopify store per language, per country, per currency and it costs a lot. And that's because you're not supposed to expand countries until you're already doing like 50 to 100K in one country. Then start worrying about other countries. And it's just another example really quick of expanded countries inside of an account. Now, when do I turn off an ad or campaign, Nick? Simple, I have a video right here. When to turn off a Facebook ad in 2023. I also talk about like when I turn off those dynamic creative tests and all those good things right there. And if you have anything else, drop it below. Be happy to answer. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, and if you would love for me to run your ads, click the link below, have Nick Terrio run your ads. We scale Shopify brands from six figures a month to seven figures a month. That's our specialty. And if you want to be mentored by me, learn how to create better ads, improve your funnel and business and stuff like that, then click the link below to have Nick Terrio mentor you. That's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next week. Peace out.